Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about sleep. I'm Dr. Daniel Barone. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, before I get into today's video, I just wanted to kind of probably sound like a broken record here, but my book is out there. Let's talk about sleep. It's on Amazon, and uh, the paperback version is coming out in uh, in May of 2019. So. Uh, uh, Follower of mine on Instagram had asked me a very interesting question. He, he said he was reading about fatal familial insomnia, otherwise known as FFI, uh, and he thought it was an interesting topic and he didn't want to learn more about it. So we'll talk about that today. So first of all, <clears throat> fatal familial insomnia is extremely, extraordinarily rare. In the medical literature, there's only a, you know, a handful of cases, so it's not something that pretty much anyone's going to come across. However, it is a fascinating uh, condition, and hopefully maybe this video will uh, reduce someone's fear that they may have it. So what fatal familial insomnia is, is basically it's a form of uh, mad cow disease. Now, if you guys remember, um, mad cow disease was, you know, something talked about quite frequently in the 90s and early uh, 2000s. People were getting it from eating uh, infected uh, meat. And what that is, is basically there's something called prions, right? And these are abnormal proteins that are found in uh, infected uh, cow meat, for example. And when somebody ingests this, this, this meat and then there's the protein in it, what happens is it goes to the central nervous system and these proteins, these abnormal proteins called prions, P-R-I-O-N, what they do is they start to essentially cause a chain reaction where other proteins start to misfold, right? So everything in nature, if we talk about molecules, I don't want to get too, too technical here, but if we talk about molecules, everything in nature has a certain configuration, especially proteins. And when you start uh, misfolding proteins, they stop working or they stop doing what they're supposed to do and they become toxic. So what happens with mad cow disease or prion disease, otherwise known as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, many different names for it. What's happening is somebody takes this, this, this food, this, uh, this protein in and then that causes the chain reaction and basically the, the nerve cells die and there's all kinds of uh, serious devastating uh, illness as results. Fatal familial insomnia is akin to that. So it's thought to be a prion disease. Now, how somebody contracts it, it's not really sure. Either they get it from, you know, uh, certainly, they, well, <clears throat> they probably, no one knows how they get it, but there's genetic susceptibility. So let's say somebody has a gene where they're at higher risk for developing this if they were to come in contact to it. And then once they come in contact to it, they're not, their body's not able to handle it. So how does somebody come in contact with it? I don't think anybody knows, right? It's so rare that, that, um, that nobody is really sure about that. Now, what happens is <clears throat> these symptoms begin with these people may have psychiatric uh, issues such as hallucinations and things of that nature. Then the insomnia starts developing and these people don't sleep and it's for literally do not sleep. For, for months or so, uh, they begin to lose weight. The body responds, uh, you know, in this abnormal situation uh, in a similar way to, um, they had an experiment years ago where they had rats, uh, they, they basically deprived them of REM sleep. So essentially they had a, a brain, brain waves or measuring the rats' brain waves. And as soon as the rats went into REM sleep, they would wake them up. It's pretty, you know, torture a situation but what happened is after about 14 days of this of just depriving REM sleep the rats started to lose weight their hair started falling out and they eventually died so fatal familial insomnia is probably something similar to that where the body kind of goes haywire as far as uh, metabolically uh, being able to deal with this so they start developing this insomnia and then that for a period of you know several months or so and then that transfers into severe dementia and then they become essentially like a vegetable and they, and they eventually die. Uh, it's, a, it's a terrible, terrible disease. Like I said, I mean, I, I've been practicing sleep medicine now for about nine years. I've never seen it or any, know anybody who has. Uh, and it's probably very, very unlikely that, that we will come across it. But um, 
like many prion diseases, unfortunately, at this time, there is no, uh, there is no cure. So, uh, so, you know, that's basically what fatal familial insomnia is. Um, uh, you know, the likelihood of somebody having it is extremely, extremely rare. So it's not something I would worry about. But uh, it was a good question. Good topic. Very interesting topic. So, uh, sir, who answered this, asked this question, I hope you, uh, <laughs> I hope this answered it. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like it. Please click subscribe to uh, get notifications when, when I release new videos. And please feel free to ask similar questions or ask any questions at all in the comment section or elsewhere, and I will get to them all. Uh, again, my book is out there, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, sleep well.